steal from this very particular process because the rain didn't happen in Delhi and Seattle. Yeah, so we did not get uh, a lot of cloud moisture. It was only around 15 percent. So with that low moisture content, the possibility of making it rain is very small. So we did not, did not achieve success from that perspective. But still, uh, we uh, got a lot of very useful information. And not only that, uh, we had set up 15 stations at different parts of Delhi to measure the level of air pollution, the level of moisture, etc. So our data shows that there has been some reduction between 6 to 10 percent in PM 2.5 and PM 10 concentration. So which shows that even with a very small or low level of moisture in the clouds, when we do the seeding, it does result in some impact, not uh, the impact that one would ideally like to see, but uh, still some impact. And that's an extremely useful information or data for us in order to plan our future seeding experiments. So there have been political statements which are raising questions on the expenditure of this whole process. That was it worth it? Because the expenditure happened, but the rain did happen. What do you have to say on the expense? And in the upcoming future, do you think that it's going to reduce? So the very name that it is an experiment implies that it can be successful and it may also not be successful. So that is the very nature of any scientific endeavor. And uh, if we fear failure and because of that we don't undertake the experiment, then we will not make progress. Having said that, if you look at the overall cost, today we did a seeding of about 300 square kilometer area. The overall cost of that, in my very rough estimate, would be somewhere around 60 odd lakh rupees which translates to somewhere around 20,000 rupees odd per square kilometer. And if we do a seeding for 1,000 square kilometer, this 20,000 will become 2 crore. And if we do seeding over the entire winter period, which is 4 months, and we assume on average we get clouds in once in 10 days, then this 2 crore becomes uh, somewhere around 30 odd crores, 25, 30 crores. So that in the overall scheme of things is not a very large amount. The amount of money that is spent in pollution control in Delhi is much, much higher. One last question on 29th of October, will the process continue? How many sorties are you expecting? How many rounds of clouds can be done? Yeah, so uh, we expect to do two more sorties today. Uh, we are also expecting slightly better moisture content in the clouds, finger crossed. So hopefully, we will have better results. But uh, only the actual seeding process and the future will tell how much we succeed. Sir, can you please throw a light on the process of this entire pro system? Uh, so what happens during seeding is that uh, we inject a very finely ground mixture of common salt, rock salt and silver iodide into the cloud. I should point out at this stage that the mixture we are using is our own. Generally, the mixture that is used is actually not a mixture, it's only silver iodide that is used. But our uh, researchers have come up with a somewhat novel mixture and we inject it into the clouds around each tiny particle water starts condensing and when there is enough condensation it falls down at a water droplet when there are enough water droplets that fall down it causes rain